defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. They run with a Johnny. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 23. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, hey. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Get it ready. This is a Jai. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Back to throw. Born. And it's caught by Parker. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run with a J. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Jay and Jay, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination, and they got it done on the second try. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is up to eight. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Back now in Miami. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third down. Here comes a big one as this crowd gets up, making some noise. It's third and short. On third down, Powell, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. 